What is up? Matthew Moy here for another Festival lineup reveal, this one being for Holy Ship 12 and 13. And today we're going to be comparing and contrasting each of their lineups and seeing which ones that you guys should pick. But as far as the festival itself, it's going to be the same boat, same set of stages, same pricing as last year. So no surprises there if you're already familiar with Holy Ship. Let's just go and compare and contrast the two days because first of all, if you're going to be doing both Holy Ships, <laughs> Good luck. That's that's a complete marathon, a week um, of just partying till I think like 3 a.m. It the partying doesn't stop on Holy Ship. I it's like you 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 can literally do from sun sunset to sunrise sets. I think every single night. So there's gonna be no sleeping. I wouldn't necessarily recommend, especially if it's your first time going to Holy Ship to do both of them one is definitely plenty. So let's compare and contrast both Holy Ships, the first being on January 5th and the second being on January 9th. First of all, really what you want to look for when you're going to a Holy Ship is the special back-to-back -back sets, the special impromptu sets just between the people there, the co-mingling. It's a very informal festival. Pretty much everyone's hanging out. You're pretty much trapped on a cruise. You really have no choice. So even the more non-social producers and DJs tend to commingle around. So as far as January 5th's strengths go, first of all, they have A-Track who is going to be playing multiple different sets. He's going to have a lot of fun, maybe even teach you guys a thing or two about DJing, which is always really fun to see. And then also he's hosting his own rap party, which really changes things up for the whole event, which is mostly dance music. So that's always a cool thing to have. And then... Also, we got 4B and Valentino Khan on the first Holy Ship, which means they're going to both be going off the Henny, and who knows what back-to-back -back sets they're going to be doing with people or with each other. They're always just hilarious uh, people to have on a cruise party. And then also on the first leg of the Holy Ship, you have Jaws and his Bite This Takeover. Definitely going to be some crazy quadruple back-to-back -back set. I'm predicting abstract joyride jaws and snails um, that's like my prediction for the giant surprise set that's gonna be bonkers like three hours long definitely gonna be something cool to see also miha's in the building she can spin with all different sorts of djs and she always has very interesting sets so that's gonna be cool to see and then also res for all the lesbians probably she's probably gonna do like two or three sets Definitely gonna be running around. She's always a really cool person to hang out with. Very nice person. And then lastly, you got Andrew Luce and Kids. Both their first Holy Ships. So it's gonna be interesting to see what back-to-back -back sets they hop on, what they're up to. As far as the second leg of Holy Ship, there's definitely a Frenchman presence in the room with Dombrowski, Mercer, Chami, and Mala. So they're definitely gonna be doing a French Armada set guaranteed and then also on top of that louis the child and weathan are both on the second leg so it's gonna be some collaboration sets from them and then lastly akali and ghastly are also on the second leg of the holy ship they seem like they would fit more probably on the first leg of it but ghastly has his ghastly and friends party which i'm not exactly sure who that would entail because ghastly's friends with everybody so i'm assuming there's gonna be like 20 people there it's gonna be really cool and then I'm predicting in a Kali house set, he's going to change things up. I think the isolation is going to get to him. He's going to say, screw it. I'm not going to do just three trap sets. Lastly, I think one of the more bigger ticket people that people are going to really want to see solely because of this is Zoo is going to be also playing. And he's also going to be hosting a blacklist party, which is a more underground party. You have to wear black only. Don't. Don't wear anything else, you'll get kicked out. Um, and those are also really cool. And as far as house goes, both are really, really strong. I think Gorgon City is on the first leg, Camel Frats on the second. Both have Claude Von Stroke. Chris Lorenzo, Chris Lake are also on both. So you're gonna be getting your fix of house pool parties for sure. One thing to note about house presence on Holy Ship is Fisher is only gonna be on the second leg of the festival. Just thought I'd mention that since he's getting a bit more relevancy as far as uh, the U.S. audience goes. If I had to pick between the two dates, I'm going to say January 5th to 9th just because I can see the synergy 
a bit more clearly just outright right here as far as all the different back-to-backs that second happen. However, ninth isn't bad either. Definitely people that I haven't seen on either. And definitely just a good spread of people on each leg of the festival. Overall, very excited to see some of these back-to-back sets and special parties and events that they have planned here. One thing that I've noticed just on the posters alone is there is no to-be-announced people. For example, last year they had uh, impromptu virtual self-sets. They didn't announce that. Porter Romps just hopped in the boat and did some sets. So this might be a security thing that they're not having any special people hop on because that's always um, a sketchy thing. However, I think these lineups are perfectly okay as they are. So let me know, guys, below which lineup you think is more stacked and then also what back-to-back sets you're hopefully looking for. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe. This has been a Space Jump lineup review. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this sort of daily EDM content, feel free to check me out on Instagram, space jump underscore EDM, where I like to post daily news, clips, and leaks before they hit the other major EDM publications. Then also follow me on Twitter, where I have rants, raves, and arguments with you guys. And that's always super fun to have. So feel free to check me out on there as well. There's Frankie. Peace in the Middle East.